Hello there, everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to some more... Let's play... Underrail. I had to remember what this game was. <laughs> In the last episode, we began <laughs> exploring deep caverns. We found six down here again. A strange gentleman, not, it seems, of our universe, who... Or potentially, I don't really know, but that's what, that's what I'm guessing. Who um, has a lot of power, but is unable to use it here in order to accomplish the tasks that he needs done. In particular, Chort needs to be destroyed. And the object that the Faceless are looking for, turns out to be a power supply, needs to be returned to them. And was given to Chort by the Chortists. There is no way for us out the Deep Caverns until we kill Chort. This is actually correct. There is no portal here we can take. There's no elevator that will work. There's no way back up until we defeat Chort. At that point, we will be able to leave. We did a little bit of exploring, not too much, and we've discovered that in hard mode, you get two stacks of the Creeping Doom, or Impending Doom debuff. So you very quickly end up under the eye of Sauron here. <laughs> well, exploring Hollow Earth, which I like very much since I have not really been forced to fight the Chortlings before, and now we're going to need to fight them if we do any significant exploring there. Fun. A lot of fun, I think. We met the Faceless as well down here, and we're on good terms with them. We still need to talk with them a little more about other things, but we'll do that after we're done, potentially, with the Ark Power Station, which is where we're going to go now. There's some power present here in the Deep Caverns, but not where we want it. And so we might as well figure out if we could reroute the power to certain other areas so that we're actually able to full explore them. We could, however, now that I think about it, thematically, go and look at the giant gate. You want to do that, Tim? Maybe we do that. Oh, man. That's going to be tricky, but we could do it. So that we understand what it is that we're trying to get past. Let's let's do that. Very rare. So, very rarely. That's the wrong way to, to begin that sentence. I've always done the deep caverns in a particular way, since I had done it successfully with Garrett an age ago. The way Garrett did it is the way that I've always done it, because it seems like the most efficient way to get things done. But we'll go ahead and do a little bit of thematic exploration here. And head on over to where the giant gate is located. We'll pop in this building really quick to drop Creeping Dread. Give me a few seconds and not have to worry about chortists. Chortists, sorry. Um. Oh, Tim, can you even reach it? Uh, we can't reach the gate currently. But Tim doesn't know that. So Tim will keep exploring. Grab some more spirit mushrooms. Oh! Forgot all about the hatches. And there's power here. But nothing else. Still, dropping down from above will let us drop the chort debuff for a bit. Barry's corpse. I'm going to take all your stuff and then come back down here. 
Let's see, we don't need those. Oh, cuddle snails. I forgot all about cuddle snails. All right, let's move a little bit away and see what they do. Slow immune to toxins and poisons, if I recall correctly. Okay, we can kill them with our normal spear. We did use exposed weakness. I think they have a lot of physical re resistance. Let's move here and try a fireball. See if they're resistant to fire at all. They are not. We set all of them on fire. 45 damage. That will die. 47 damage. In two turns, they're all dead. So we can safely ignore them and move towards the other exit, I suppose. Actually, I want this gremlin stool. There's another deep caverns elevator here, but we can see that there's rocks filling it. A cave-in. So that one's out of service for us. Oh, I like this music. I very rarely get to hear it, because I'm never really down here. And now we have the Eye of Chort affecting us. We're going to keep pushing. want to see this gate that we can't pass. A devourer. Okay. Let's round the corner here. As you might have seen or guessed, the chortlings come out of these holes in the ground. These are their spawn points. Oh, wait a turn. Oh, God. Okay, that thing just showed up. <laughs> Let's uh, use pyrokinesis here. To kill that one and make the devourer run away. We will sprint after it. All right, we have a sower. Good. We can move up to it now. Take their hearts, their intestines. We don't want to stay here for too long, Tim. But we are here. Which is to say, I'm in an area I don't normally venture into until much later on. So I think we will spend some time and explore. It's a ton of ammo. We don't need any of it, though. A way downstairs? We should investigate it. Nothing else, we might be able to drop the Eye of Chort for a few, for a little bit. Oh, no, we're not going to be able to do that here. This is a, this is a tough area to explore. 
Even kids didn't have taken a liking to the weird back in the day. Plush Tentacle. I think that's from Day of the Tentacle. If I remember correctly. That was an old, uh... Point and click. But it was a... You had to control several different people at the same time. Hello. It's a black eye with no pupil. It's about the size of a human eye. Let's take that. This is all chemistry stuff. We don't need any of this. Oh, with the exception of the flat beakers. More flat beakers, ampules. We'll take all of that except for the acid vials. Drugs! Super health hypo. Psy boosters. Adrenaline. Anti-venom. Take the bonding agents as well, I suppose. Oh, wow! Incinerary cryo uh, gels for an acid pistol. In case you want to use different types of elemental damage. Locked, huh? We can open that. We can... Oh, no, we can't. Not with that hotkey. Metal armor. I'm going to take all of it, and we're going to break it down. Break it down! Oh, I, I did that before. I said I wouldn't do it again. I apologize. Let's uh, recycle this stuff. And then we can make some repair kits. There we go. Okay. And our weapon could use a normal repair. Let's do that too. Our bacon cheeseburger is about to expire. Have some brain soup. Oh, missed a weapon shelf. Let's take a look at that as well. Crossbows. Not very good ones either. They can stay there. All right, let's head on down. Saw that. Scanner. Oh, look at all the green eggs all around here. Okay, we need to kill the scanner. We have to. Oh, wow! Hello, Trotley Devourer. That thing just popped into existence. It must have come from the crack here inside the mutagen tank. All right, can we stun it? Either just an, a box with some ammo in it. So we're. I want. Oh, spins off a cooldown. Okay, we're gonna charge it. That's the only thing I see. Uh oh. Uh, let's use pre med and blast it with a. Plasma beam. Still not enough to kill it. In fact, it, res it looks like it is heavily resistant to fire and energy. That did almost no damage. Oh! 
I did not realize it works that way. All right, that's good to know. I've very rarely used Plasma Beam in the past. So, you it does more damage the greater the distance between you and the target. Okay. Well, I'll know that for the future. Oh, wow. All right, so... Let's move away from that silliness and set fire to all of that. We can use the Parkinson's stream here to kill more of those tentacles. And then we can begin to get away. Let's use our shield. Let me guess, one hit point left? Three hit points left, okay. Let's set ourselves on fire and run past these guys. Use Uncanny Dodge. Wow, there's a another Devourer. Just gonna keep running then we may take some hits here let's use some adrenaline some morphine and heal ourselves oh wow what does this say over this creature everyone What does that say? Detrius. I knew things wouldn't work out for him. I thought he became a mutant, not a chortling. So that's interesting. A bit awkward where we're located. Because we can we could have been pinned. But they also don't want to be set on fire. We are now fatigued. Oh, right, Tim. You have endless spawns here. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Missing sucks. don't want to be hit by a devourer. So let's move away. We see so what's your cooldown? One turn? We'll increment. 
And then we'll use Parakinesis. I need to kill the sower. So we have to recurrence that. And I am running out of space to hide or get away. Let's move here. I think the devourer can reach us here. But it will only get one attack. So we're just going to end our turn. Let's use our... Yeah, we'll end our turn. I was hoping that it wouldn't be able to do that. Don't want to be in the bio guck. Let's use Uncanny Dodge. Sorry, Detrius. Ooh! Bleeding wound. How much? Five damage only. Oh, wow, viewer. We're doomed. There's, there's too many. There's too many enemies spawning. We're... we're dead. Well, that was lucky that they missed twice. I'm going to increment. And then we'll set ourselves on fire again. Flames around this are protecting us from them actually. Oh god, a scanner. Trying to reach us. I want to search this stuff. <laughs> Not the creatures. I would like to search the. Uh, whatchamacallit over there. Let's um, use a super health hypo. And keep moving. We will use Uncanny Dodge just in case they decide to move up. I don't think they will, though. Oh, one did! One moved up to take a swing. Can we current that? Turn off our shield. Another div Oh my god! Uncanny Dodge Tim is not on cooldown. So it is, is on cooldown, so you better stun this. Is there any reason for me to come down here? We haven't searched all this stuff yet, so we're going to try to search these boxes and what have you. We're 
we're also running out of sigh. Okay, we are gonna search these boxes. A set of four identical metal balls, each suspended by two strings. When you set them in motion, interesting things happen. Pendulums is what this odd item is. Nope, we're on barrel. Mutagen Reagent Exodist 01. That is important. If we have to do the... If we have to do the Mutagen Puzzle, we will want that. Oh, a sower. I didn't even see it, viewer. Can't let it exist. And then we gotta run. We gotta get out of here. Another sower. Oh, good for it getting in the way. Oh, a scanner. We're doomed. Or maybe we're not. Let's see. We can use some adrenaline. We can use sprint to move up to it and stun it. We still have that one barrel down there, so we're not done. We gotta go back down there and check that barrel. I don't think there's anything in it that I particularly care about. But I don't know. As such, we need to check. I don't remember where every single one of those mutagen uh, canisters are, and we need all of them. We did it, though. We survived that, what was down there. That's, I like that. I didn't think we would for a bit. Let's wait till our normal health hypo is off a cooldown. What we need to inhale or psionic points, get them back again. Now we're regenerating. All right. Let's head back down there. Actually, how's our weapon holding up? Could use a big repair. One barrel is the whole reason why we need to be here. 
Okay, nothing. Another devour. Detrius only had his brain, and that was it. Oh my goodness, we, look at all the life we lost from walking around inside what the sower had spewed everywhere. Okay, I just want to get out of here. Well, I mean, I do want to search some of these corpses for their bits. Oh, we're doomed, Tim. That's a scanner. And another devourer. I don't think I'm allowed to take the ladder, if even if I'm right next to it. So we have to deal with these creatures again, I think. Yeah, can't interact with it during combat. So we're gonna have to kill these things. I see the sower. moved up into me. It's incapacitated. Which gives me a chance to charge the sower. Nice! Lucky critical hit, but I'll take it. Okay, lots of bodies down there, but I'm running out of space to hold more body parts, so we will not need to go back down there again. Let's, uh, heal. I just, since this is a safe area here, I'm just going to wait and we'll use those normal health hypos. This is fun, by the way. I very much like the difficulty increase here on hard mode. I'm forced to deal with the Eye of Chort now. There's, I like it, I, but I'm weird. <laughs> I am probably the only one in existence who likes it. Uh, I like the wandering around down here. I like the idea of Sauron watching, looking for you, feeling you, you knowing you're, there's a, uh, an intruder somewhere in his realm and he's been spawning his minions to try to stop you I, I very much enjoy uh, deep caverns but that said it takes a long time to get through it which is why I tend not to do it with my characters when they reach this point my attitude's always well they can probably beat this area of the game and I start a new character instead <laughs> I suffer from altitis I think is what the term is uh, uh, jokingly referred to, which is that I like making lots and lots of different characters and uh, just playing them. It's a, it's a good amount of fun to try different builds, what have you. Okay, we are regenerating. Let's... Let's 
head out. Actually, no, let's wait here until, until we are regenerated. Hmm. I was hoping that there was a different short link in hard mode. Something that is obviously not present in normal mode. Alas, it doesn't look like that's the case. It'd be, it would have been fun to have something new to worry about. Since I'm familiar with uh, the three shortlings from my brief time fighting them with my other characters. To be fair, as well, I don't... Once again, I don't come out this far into Hollow Earth. And definitely not without the elo echoing soliloquy uh, feat, which makes it so that the cre Creeping Doom debuff has a chance to not uh, apply itself. So we would have to deal with the Chortlings even if this was normal mode, and I decided to run out here. more seconds everyone then we quick save and head on out all right let's do it okay maybe oh we kind of need to charge the sower Creature bits. Reagent Ovid 3, Reagent Echo 2, and the Mutated Cockroach. Okay, we are getting dangerously close to being overburdened. But the reagents don't actually take any carry capacity, any weight allowance from us. We'll grab the Oozing Shroom. This is what we wanted to see. No power. And it's covered with some sort of... Fungus. We're not allowed this way either yet. Okay, that one saw us. Another devourer. We'll just stay here. We can we can uh, dodge tank dodge their uh, their hits. Well, that's good. If we uh, can incapacitate one of them, then we can wait around or two. Oh God, a sower, and it saw us. We can move over here to avoid its gaze. So we'll do that. Oh, what the heck? It can see me from there? What? What's going on? Why are there now a... <laughs> Why are there so many powers? All over the place all of a sudden. All right, let's move over here. Uh, I don't have the action points to use plasma beam. Is that correct? E25, and how many do I have? 24. Of course. Oh, 
I'll use it. Oh, why I'm, why I'm using them in, these in the wrong order. Let's use a morphine as well. I'll throw a grenade. Another sower. Wow, this area slowly became incredibly dangerous. Look at all of them. I can run around and set this area on fire. And then we can use, oh, tentacles. We can use uncanny dodge. Oh no! Oh, I thought we, I thought the sower was uh, afraid. We set it on fire. We did not set it on fire. So we want to move here and use pregnant extreme to kill the scanner. Okay, this was a mistake. We're not gonna we're not gonna go this way after all. There, there's too many chortlings here. Oh, my morphine expired and I had taken damage. That's why we lost so much life right here, Tim. Let's heal. You know. You're not that far. I think we can do this area. Wow, maybe we can't. Stay here. Okay, dodge just one more turn. We'll use increment to make sure we have it available this turn. You don't want to get surrounded by that many of them, Tim. Let's run back into the fire. I'm going to risk not using it. I don't think they're going to charge into these flames. I think they're going to move against me here either. Oh, one did. And hit me. And we have a sower. Okay. So let's use a AoE. Is the sower on fire? It is. Okay. It will burn up.
this is silly. <laughs> okay, S staying here and trying to fight them is a mistake. Let's leave. Yeah, scanner. Oh, right. We don't have any power here, Tim. Maybe we won't need it. Yeah. <laughs> The item of some sort. Flares. Ah, there was a soul here. Let's take that. Hello, scanner. <laughs> oh no! Scanners everywhere in this place. All right, let's see. Good, one dead scanner. Banter cells back up. Our spear could use a big repair. Why are we using this spear and not our other one? Uh, that's a good question. I don't have a good answer. <laughs> Though I am kind of glad that we're using the normal spear. We we're able to defeat these things using it. So why not do so? It saves us power. I do want to... S I hate you. Can ignore the tumor. We do want to search down here. Okay, nothing else to search. Sower and a scanner. We have to kill the scanner. We have to. That's a that's a one hit kill on us. Goodbye, tentacles. We don't need to fight you. <sighs> okay, leave. Get out of here, Tim. 
Right, we're fatigued. I see the devour up ahead of us. We're going to try to explore this area. To open up this the gate we saw earlier. We can charge our shield a little more. Or get our dagger up to full. It's a scanner. It's on the way. I love Plasma Beam. <laughs> plasma Beam is amazing. Oops, well, that miss is going to stink. Game, please, please. <laughs> oh, a filled tooth. The first eye item we've seen from these creatures. Enough power, we could at least open that door to make this an easier way uh, to access this particular staircase. And this is the gate operating mechanism. And it looks like it's seen much better days. This large machinery appears to be some sort of gate opening mechanism. We just said that. Well, it is true that corrosion and fungus engulfing the outer shell are a clear sign that the machine hasn't been maintained in decades. Looking inside the mechanism would give you a more accurate insight into its condition and potentially usability. A panel on the right is already open as if inviting you to look inside. Let's take a look. We have mechanics, so we get a special uh, dialogue here. You begin thoroughly inspecting the machine. Inside, you see a hydraulic system which drives the actuators responsible for opening and closing the gate above. Corrosion has bitten into the insides quite deeply, but most of the components appear to be functional, or could become so after minor repairs. Others, however, would need replacement parts. First, you will need to replace the main control valve with a new one. Second, the drive shaft by which the electronic motor drives and axle piston pump has entirely corroded and must be replaced. You take both the valve and the faulty shaft so you can use them for reference when searching for replacements. Third, the hydraulic fluid reservoir has leaked and will need to be patched up before it can hold any liquid. Looking at the empty canisters just to the right of the machine, you estimate that you will need about three of those to fully fill the reservoir. Fourth, you notice that the system is connected to what appears to be hydropneumonic accumulators, which connect to the outside of the machine. One is already in place, but the other is missing and will need to be installed. Even with all the necessary components, actually repairing the machinery is going to take a lot of time and effort, but you are confident you are skilled enough to do the job. The only thing you need, if you are to repair it yourself, is to find some tools, preferably a complete set. On the other hand, what appears to be a repair bot sitting in the corner could prove useful and help you with the repairs. Does this... Does these things weigh anything? They do not. So we have a corroded drive shaft and a faulty hydraulic control valve. Empty canister. Nothing in it. Laser multi pointer. You find it hard to conceive of an interface that would require this sort of interaction. Three oddy points. An advanced mechanical repair kit. Okay. So now we know what we are looking to find down here in deep caverns. To order to open this gate. But the gate still has the guck on it as well. We'll need a way to actually purge it. It won't matter that we repaired the gate, the mechanism to open the gate, with that guck on the front of it, it still won't open. 
As for these canisters of mutagens, these are for an optional quest. A quest is the wrong uh, puzzle. You don't have to do the puzzle, but if you don't do the puzzle, you will fight a fully armed or tentacled chort. If you solve the puzzle, instead of, I think there being eight tentacles or seven tentacles, there's three, which is quite a substantial decrease in its DPS when you're fighting the uh, when you're fighting Chort. But Chort's still very dangerous, even with just three tentacles. This small wheeled bot appears to be used for performing repairs, as its extensions imply, and was most likely placed here to service the large machinery next to it. A small panel on its side is open and labeled with AI core. The socket itself seems to be empty, but after a brief inspection you come to a conclusion that the process of installing a new core is an uncomplicated one. It is done by simply placing the core inside the socket and then locking it in with the load plate. If you don't have mechanics, you'll have to do the arc power station first in order to acquire the AI cores to power this bot to assist you in making the repairs. I mean, you're going to power on the arc station anyway, but you don't have to do the area that has the power cores. You only have, uh, the, where the power is manipulated from is in a different room, if I remember correctly, than where the cores are located. We will probably clear the entire core, though, uh, arc power station. Oh, we should search down here. Search all the barrels. Okay. Let's head back downstairs. Oh, wow, you can get three stacks of the Eye of Chort. I just saw us go from 9 to 12, then from 12 to 15. Wow! <laughs> Man, Stig's not joking around. Hard mode's hard. All right, let's get out of here. We'll head back to where we started this adventure from. And then, viewer, I think that will do it for us for this episode. Because it feels like we're playing for an hour already. So, uh, yeah, we'll stop. Good amount of combat. My God, that was these were tough areas to do. Normally, I would consider using Sprint to get us through these areas faster, but if we end up in combat, I'm going to want Sprint ready to assist me with whatever we're dealing with. I think also it was a good choice for us to use this spear in the end. We haven't located more power cores or batteries yet, and until I, until I do, it might be a mistake to... ...use so much uh, of our supplies. Oh, hold on, there's a hatch. Let's get down the hatch. Oh, you know what I can do? I forgot about this. This is something else we should have done. I can extract all the humors from these things. Which will greatly reduce our, our uh, weight allowance. Oh, this gives you prednisone. Prednisone belongs to a class of drugs known as corticosteroids. It decreases your immune system's response to various diseases to reduce certain symptoms. Uh, I'm a, So I am allergic to prednisone. One of apparently very, very few people in the world who are, according to uh, the allergist, who witnessed me break out in hives after I received prednisone. Prednisone is supposed to stop hives from happening, and I get them from it. It's interesting. We can also process plants. Spirit poison.
Biofusive Scobby. A symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast that can be used in concocting regenerative medicine. This is from Oozing Shrooms. Search the barrel really quick. I don't want to have to uh, re innervate, so we're going to walk through a little bit of this toxic gas. We'll full explore the city, or Hollow Earth's uh, main area, areas, when we've completed the power station and talked to the crazy gentleman. Okay. Faceless patrols. You'll have to worry about them if you're not on the faceless's good side. Let's do some quick inventory management, and then we'll call the session. Oops, sorry about that, Mr. Gaunt. So let's grab some more oozing shrooms. Okay. And what do I not have very much of? We actually need blood. Yeah, here, here I was hoping I'd be done collecting all the hearts. But no, that's not the case. Can put all of these components there. Hit sort. Okay. I don't think you use bonding agents in crafting drugs, but I can't remember if there's a singular drug that requires them. We have sponge filters, we'll just put those there as well. We picked up a single normal health hypo from somewhere apparently too. What is weighing me down? I think this is your standard ca carry here. Okay. All right, then. So, viewer, I think we're done. Let's look at one thing really quick. What does it take to make a regenerative mixture? Biofusive scobby, blood times two, clean blastema. We don't have any of that. Macrophage fluid, that's acquired from fishing and ampules, uh, which we don't have any more of. Okay, well, that does it for this episode. Thank you guys again for watching. And when we come back, we will then head up to our, the Art Power Station, now that we have a better idea of what we're looking at fixing. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching this one, and take care, everyone.